Hey, Rainbow Warrior here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle beanie. I am making this for a child size, however I have made a pattern for an adult size as well. So in this tutorial I'm going to be taking my time and going nice and slow to show all the steps, so if you need to you can fast forward or go back. So let's get started. I'm going to begin with my turtle green color and I'm using a size G hook for this child's beanie. I like to use an I hook for a medium size hat, most adults and teenagers, and a J hook for a size large hat. So we're going to begin with an adjustable loop and we're simply going to loop the end of our yarn in our palm like so and put the yarn that's attached to our ball in the back. Gently tug up on that yarn and you're going to chain one to secure your loop. And now we can move our tail, and we can see our circle gets nice and small, so we can make it any size we want. So we're going to yarn over and start doing our double crochets. So here's our first double crochet into our adjustable loop, and we're going to do 12 double crochets. Here's two. So for our double crochet, we yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through those first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. There's three. Here's four. And we're doing this double crochet stitch for our entire beanie, keeping it nice and simple. Five and six. There's seven. You can pull your tail if you need to make your circle smaller, it's more manageable. Here's eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and the last one is twelve. Alright, so we're going to start off with our twelve, and now we're going to pull our tail tight and it will close our circle. You can't even see it. I'm going to slip stitch to join our circle and close it. And for this following round as well, I like to lock my tail in by just keeping the tail close to our work and including it when we crochet. So here are my 12 stitches. I can count them around. And we're going to put two double crochets in each stitch for a round two for a total of 24 stitches. So yarn over and go into our first space here. And notice that I'm not chaining, and that is because I do not want a seam in my hat. So I'm just going to start a continual round. So here's my first two double crochets in my first stitch. Now I'm going to put three and four in my next stitch. So really simple, and I just like to keep track in my head. Just count from one to 24. And as you can see, I'm keeping my tail close to those loops so that when I go through the loops, it is also being uh, crocheted into my work. So here's five and six. Just like that, laying it and holding it with my fingers. Seven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two, and I'm going to put twenty-three. In my last stitch and here's 24 in our last stitch as well all 
Alright, so now we're going to begin round three. We're going to place two double crochet stitches in our first stitch, one double crochet stitch in our next, all the way around. So here's one and here's two in our first stitch. And then we're placing our third double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to go from 24 stitches to 36 stitches. So you're going to do two double crochets, then one double crochet. So here's four, five, and six. Seven. And eight. nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And continue around until you have your 36 stitches and you're at the beginning of your round again. I'm at my last few stitches. Here is 34, 35, and my last stitch, 36. So I'm finished round three. And we have our nice spiral going here. We have one more round of increase. For round four, we're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch, one in the next, and one in the next, all the way around until we have 48 stitches. So here's one and two in our first stitch, three, and four. And we're repeating. Here's five and six in our next stitch. Here's seven and eight. And you're repeating this pattern all the way around until you have 48 stitches. An option to use a place marker as well when you do your increases, just so it's easier to keep track and make sure that you have the right amount of stitches. All right, I've completed my round four. And we're finished with our increases, so we're going to have 48 stitches for the remainder of our hat. And I'm using a place marker. I'm just using another color yarn. And now I know that this is my last stitch of the round. So for round five, I'm simply going to place a double crochet in each stitch. And this is going to be what we're doing for the remainder of our hat. So for rounds five through 11, just double crochet. And I'm going to do these rounds off camera just so that I can do it quickly. When I get to the end of my round, I just want to show you what that looks like. So here's my last stitch going to place a double crochet in that last stitch and then you can either take your place marker out and remark it but since I'm using yarn I just simply loop it right on over and keep it in the hat just to save on time and then continue double crocheting so this is the first stitch of our round six Alright, so here are my following rounds. I am ended on around 11 and my beanie is the exact same size of another kid's beanie that I'm comparing it with so I'm hoping that this fits and I can loop over my place marker and I'm simply going to place my beanie to the side. I'm going to keep my yarn attached, don't cut it, I'm just going to put it to the side while I make my mask. So pull up on that loop so it doesn't fall through and come undone. And I'm using the same hook as well for the face 
mask of this beanie. I'm using an orange color because I'm creating a Michelangelo beanie. And I'm going to start with a slip knot. Place that slip knot on your hook. And I'm going to begin with a foundation chain of 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And now we're going to begin by slip stitching in the third chain from the beginning. So the third chain from our original slip knot. So count one, two, three. And right in there we're going to slip stitch. And this kind of creates an oval shape for our eye hole. And it may look a little small, but when we start putting our crochet stitches in there, it will stretch out. So enter that third chain and you're simply going to yarn over and pull through to attach. And there's our eye hole. Alright, these next two stitches are our nose bridge. One and two. We're going to half double crochet into each stitch. So yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Same with the next stitch. Another half double crochet. Great, so that's the section that goes over our nose. To create our second eye hole, we are going to chain 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And now we're going to slip stitch to our first chain on the other side. So think of this as working in a round. Rather than working back and forth, we're going to move around our mask like this. So slip stitch to the opposite side of that first chain, just like so. And now we have our two eye holes. We're going to put another half double crochet in each stitch for our nose bridge. So here's one half double crochet into our first stitch. We're on the other side of our original foundation chain here. And our second half double crochet. Alright, now we're going to begin crocheting into our eye hole. We're going to do approximately 30 double crochets into that eye hole. So just hold that chained loop and begin double crocheting. And I say approximately because I don't quite keep track. I more continue crocheting until my eye hole is nice and filled. And if you're like me and you have loose tension, you can do a few crochet stitches and then slide them down so that they fit and aren't super spread out. I'm also holding um, my tail close to that chain as well, so that way I don't have to sew it in later. It's just getting covered up right here.
Alright, putting my last stitch in, and I got 30 stitches. Spread it out, and it looks pretty good. I'm just can pull my tail and cut that later. Now it's time to do our two half double crochet stitches on our nose bridge. So yarn over. And here's our first stitch. And our second stitch. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side. We're going to fit 30 double crochets into our second chain loop. So hold on to your loop and begin double crocheting. see I went all the way around and it looks pretty good if I wanted to I could slip stitch and keep this face part how it is um, however I can never decide whether to keep going or not so I always just keep going so I'm gonna do one more round around the mask so I'm doing my two half double crochets where the nose bridge is And now I'm going to simply place a double crochet in each stitch all the way around, slip stitching at the bottom there, and continuing double crocheting all the way around. This just makes our face mask a little thicker, a little more distinct. It gives it a little more of a cartoony look, I would say. So maybe if you're looking for more of the sleek ninja look, to only do the round ones.
All right, I went all the way around and now I'm slip stitching in my last stitch to finish off my face mask. And I'm going to cut a decent length tail here because I like to sew it around the nose bridge just to give it some extra stability. Time to create our straps. So we're using a new piece of yarn and we're finding the middle of the side of our mask. You can eyeball it or count your stitches. And I'm going to attach my yarn, pull through those loops, and then I'm going to chain one to attach it. And I like to place the tail over to secure that nicely in. Now we're going to chain 35. You can make this chain longer if you want your straps longer. However, I make mine long enough to knot at the back of my head. Alright, now we're going to begin single crocheting in the second chain from our hook. And we're going to single crochet all the way down back to our mat. Now that we've reached our mask, we're going to slip stitch into the stitch right next to where we started from, so right there. That way our strap will be attached to our mask nicely. So slip stitch in that stitch, and then I'm going to slip stitch one more time, so right into the next stitch. Now we're flipping our mask because we're about to crochet down the opposite side. So turn your work. And I'm doing double crochets here. So yarn over. And I'm working my tail in as well so I don't have to worry about sewing it in later. And I'm going to double crochet all the way down my strap. And if you want a thinner or thicker strap, you can, of course, do whatever stitch you want to get your desired look.
now that I've reached the end of my chain, in my last stitch, I'm going to place three double crochets. Think of this as our turning chain, because we're going to work around our chain, and then double crochet back. So we basically did a double crochet row on one side, and now we're working around and doing a double crochet row on the opposite side. And again, once we get back to our mask, we will slip stitch again to make our straps nice and secure. My strap is completed, it is the thickness that I desire, and I'm going to slip stitch to the adjacent stitch on my mask so it's nice and attached. So simply yarn over and pull through both loops. And I'm going to slip stitch one more time. And our straps are nice and secure. And you're going to do this exact same process on the opposite side of your mask. So find your middle stitch and repeat the same steps you did for your first strap. I'm going to cut my yarn and sew that in later. Now to attach our mask to the hat. And there are several different ways you can go about doing this. However, this is the easiest way that I'm going to show you that I found. We're simply using slip stitches to attach our mask to our beanie. If you recall, we didn't cut our yarn on our beanie, so we still have working yarn. And we're going to attach this strap to the beanie, as well as the other side of the strap. And then we're going to attach the middle of the mask at that point so that our mask will be able to flip over onto our face. So grabbing our beanie, we are going to start our 12th row and we're going to begin with half double crochets. So yarn over and pull through all three of your loops. And I'm going to just do a few stitches before I connect my mask so that way I'm kind of working in the middle of my hat. So I'm doing eight half double crochet stitches here. and now I'm going to grab my mask and I am attaching a side of the strap and I'm going to attach six stitches of my strap to my hat. So I'm counting out six so I see where I need to start. And the reason I don't attach the whole mask is because I like to be able to tie it in the back. Alright, and we're simply going to slip stitch to join this. So we're going to enter our first stitch on our mask, the sixth stitch that we counted, enter our beanie and pull through both loops, all of those loops at once. 
And again, here's our second slip stitch, pulling through, going, entering the mask and entering the beanie, pulling through a loop and pulling through again. So here's four and five. And see, that's what it looks like. It's attached nicely. And six, our last one. And now you can see we've reached our face portion. I like that our goggles hang below our beanie a little bit. I just really like the look of that. And in order for our mask to move and to flip, you don't want to attach our eyeballs or our eye holes to the mask. So we're going to simply do our half double crochets in the next remaining stitches. So in order to do this, we're just going to hold our mask up to our beanie and peel it back and count how many um, stitches, how many half double crochets we need to do until we get to the middle of our face mask. So just eyeball it. It's going to be different for everyone's hat. It's not going to be a set number of stitches. I find it can be anywhere from six to eight stitches. And we're just going to simply half double crochet in our next few stitches, however many that you measured out. I think for this one I'm doing eight. Six, seven, and eight, nine, looks like I'm doing, and now hold it up and see how that looks, and you want to make sure that it fits. You don't want to attach it too tight or too loose or else your goggles will not look right on your hat. And now I'm entering that middle stitch on my mask, as well as the next stitch in our beanie, and slip stitching to join. Alright, and now I'm going to half double crochet in the next same amount of stitches. And then I'll attach the other strap to my hat. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So again, for this hat, I'm doing nine stitches between um, my connections. However, I've made several of these beanies and it's always a different number. So just hold up your project and depending on your gauge, figure out what works best for your beanie. That's what's great about crochet is it's really easy to adjust. All right, and now we're doing the same thing on the opposite side of our goggles. So we're going to slip stitch in the next six stitches. So entering our mask and then our beanie and slip stitching through. That's one. Here's two. And again, you can even attach more stitches if you want. The reason why I don't attach my whole strap is because I find that being able to tie it in the back makes it fit nicely over your head, nice and tight and secure. Alright, so there's my six. Looks good. And now I'm just going to simply half double crochet until I reach where I started my round. So it's important that you place your stitch marker so you know where your round ended.
and we're slip stitching on our last stitch and we're going to just cut and fasten in our ends I have a lot of tails on my mask that I just have to sew in and our beanie is complete if you need more assistance with the step one attaching the mask to the hat I did a full video tutorial on that step in case you're having any difficulty and want some extra assistance as well I have another video on the adult size hat however I got requests to do a much slower in-depth video so hopefully this helps and again if you have any questions or anything is unclear um, feel free to ask me I am loving all the feedback and suggestions I'm getting and it's really helping me to improve my videos so thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe for more tutorials hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this pattern and hopefully I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching